Florida. Welcome back, KPJP Florida. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're promoting Highland Spring Water. <laughs> no, we're not. Today, we are doing, what are we doing? Build hunt. So JP brought this quite a while ago now when we started doing our other videos. Um, why <laughs> did I have a video? No, I just went like that. I was just it. Um, I washed it today. Nice. Well done you. I know. Um, so yes, when we were doing some of our other videos, and we never got round to doing these, so we thought tonight is Friday night. It's takeaway night. Last week we did. This council's getting you all out, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So last week we did fish and chips. And we did sausage and all that yummy stuff, didn't we? So this week we're going to do yum yum yums, but we are going to go for a takeaway later. What takeaway are we having? Uh -huh. I haven't even thought that far ahead. Well, I was thinking either Nando's, Chinese, or Indian. I cover as most bases. Basically, and which one chicken. did you fancy? I don't know. We've worked that. We out. had Indian the week before we did the fish and chips. Right. So let's get stuck in. Where did we get these from, JP? Uh, so these are mostly from Amazon. So we've got uh, biltong. So biltong is like jerky, uh, but it's a South African uh, dish. Um, that is, and I'm going to make the pronunciation incorrect. It's drawers or drawers. You anyway. It's it's slightly different. So this is. Basically, uh, like a pepperoni, like a sausage. Ooh, so got um, and this is basically cured meat. So it's like jerky, but it tends to be a little bit softer. Um, so we've got chili, uh, chili. We've got teriyaki, peri peri, garlic, barbecue, and traditional. I thought that said trapidinal. Trapidinal. It's not, it's traditional. What? what? <laughs> wow. I know. So which one should we go first? Iba dibidation, no, my no, operation. No, we're not going to do that one. Stop right. And go right. No, right. Oh. Go right. Start right. Start okay, right. teriyaki first. And I actually don't even know if I like this or not. This is why it's going to be so interesting. I have had... You open it. I have had... Um, Biltong. Biltong before. So, oh, wow. From... Um, because Daniel likes it and Luke likes No, Daniel likes it, doesn't he? Oh, and we've got it from Florida. We've got it from Walmart. Yeah, so um, so this stuff's really, it's, it's gluten free, it's really low sugar, 61% uh, protein. Prime 100%? Prime beef! 100% prime beef! <laughs> oh, it's going to take too much. How much are you meant to eat then? Uh, just one piece at a time. Is it like a packet of crisps where you just snack on it? Uh, no. Would you eat all of this in one sitting? It depends how hungry you are, I suppose. But um, it's it's a snack, right? So it's just a snack. Oh, it's sorry about that. It smells nicer than it tastes. Actually, that smells a bit. Mm. No, it does. It smells nicer than it tastes for me. What do you think? It's dried meat. What do you expect? No, go on, eat it. I was going to read the back of it. What it said. So it says award-winning, award-winning benefit snacks. Biltong comes from a secret. Beef it. Oh. <laughs> I actually can't read. The award winning beef it snacks. Mm. Keep on reading. So, mate, basically, yada yada yada. Nice. Process kale. So, look, I, it's kind of nice. It does taste the teriyaki. Uh, but. I took too much. Well, one piece, though. So. Chili. <laughs> I'll just score that. Out of ten, ten being delicious. Oh my lord! Um, two. Uh -oh. two. What would you score it? Uh, so I, I actually quite like jerky and biltong and things like that. So actually, I think it's it's a good six or seven. Really? Mm -hmm. Right. This flavour chili. I think it smells exactly the same. Let me smell. No, that that smells sweeter. This just smells. Actually, it smells of chili. I'm going to take a little bit this time. Because I think oh, I ate too much last time. Not with me. No? Yes? No? It's got a bit of a kick to it. I'd actually give that one three. That isn't 61%. Oh, it's chilli. Oh, it's coming in. That chilli's coming in. Gluten free, handcrafted, and high in protein. That one isn't 61%, sorry, protein, not free. 
It's 52.7 grams of protein. Oh, it's got a bit actually, of chili kit. We've got in. a bit of a chili kit. It's not till right at the end when you go to solid meat. It actually says we picked the best British and Irish silver side beef and yeah. marinade with the uh, spices. Spices, herbs, and spices. Mmm. Mm. So good? Bad? Good? Bad? What did I, did I do a score? Three. I reckon yeah, three. 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 Mm. So traditional. So got nothing with it. I need some more drink though. Got nothing with it, just plain. It's very spicy. It's like chilli. Would you like some? I know. Why not? You got Starbucks there. Obligatory. We just walked. We just walked down and got frappuccino. Obligatory. Frappuccino. Because the flex, we were going to ask for the um, the Mount one you were talking about yesterday on your uh, YouTube. Go go subscribe to the flex, by the way, everybody, if you want some really good um, vlogs to watch. We were going to subscribe to the secret. Menu. Oh, Gizmo wants to come in. Well, Secret you menu you um, for the Joker one, but we didn't. We just went for a strawberry frappuccino, which is my favourite anyway. Right, traditional. Mm. Have you had a bit yet? Let me smell. It will smell. Ooh. It will smell odd because it's got no spice with it. Oh, I'm going to have a tiny, tiny little bit. It smells like dog breakfast. And it just says, oh, that is disgusting. Just dried beef with some spices. Why would you eat this? Why don't you have a packet of crisps or some raisins or some chocolate covered raisins? Hey, you wait till we do the chocolate crickets and things like that. Oh man, that's God, disgusting. That. that tasted really beefy, really earthy, like I was a cow eating mud. Cow? cow. Did you say it tastes meat? Anyway. Beef is Matt, a cow. I didn't say it wasn't. Oh. Garlic. I'm looking forward to this one because I quite like garlic. I'm a garlic lover. Oh. I couldn't be a vampire because I'd be a gar I love garlic, so I'd probably have to be the wolf. If you had to be a wolf or a vampire, what would you be? What would you be? I'd be, I'd be Van Helsing. Oh. oh, I can smell that. Oh, wow. And you said after me and you already took one out. I smelled it. Oh. Oh, yeah, it smells, that wow, smells garlic. Oh, that's really garlicky oh so here are the other flavors and truly traditional oh habanero chili not just any chili habanero and not just garlic it says gorgeous garlic and not just oh it's barbecue oh not just barbecue dixie barbecue and not just teriyaki totally teriyaki yeah i don't know that I didn't think you would. I'd give it a two. I didn't think you would. So, so far the chilli one, I think because it was spicy and it took away some of the dullness of the meat. Okay, barbecue. <laughs> not really a meat fan to be fair, I much oh, prefer it's, it's, veggie. It's kind of, it's, it's a gradual thing we've done over the years, isn't it? We actually don't mm. eat too much red meat. We do like a burger though, got a big, you know, I do like a burger. Yeah, and actually, on burger. the cruise, I did actually say that if there's lamb on there, I will choose lamb and duck. I do like a bit of duck. You didn't duck. I said duck. Duck. Oh, well. <laughs> mm. It's a barbecue. It smells. So it's regurgitating now. Sorry about that. It's actually tastes, uh, sorry, smells, but. What? Yeah, it really smells barbecuey. I like that. That's that's probably my favourite one. Hmm. Hmm. I'd give that a four. Out of all of them, that is the best. I do like that one. That one linked. Right, and the last one of these beef fit ones. Uh, this one is fiery. It takes a long time egg. to chew. Do you just chew once and swallow? Well, because it's just, it's it's like jerky. Jerky's a, it's like a meat chew. Basically. But aren't you meant to chew and chew? Yeah. So I, I couldn't just swallow that. I didn't ask you to. Right, anyway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Peri Peri, you're not going to like this. What's that in thing. there? It's uh, air dry. So it's um, a. Oh, I thought it was like uh, a salt and vinegar thing where you put some extra salt and vinegar. No, that's right, so you don't eat. <laughs> it's basically absorbs all the moisture in the packet. Keeps them dry because you don't want it going bad. Perry Perry. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Harmless. I'd put that at a four, three and a half, 
actually. Three and a half. Three and a half. Good. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind this one actually. They're quite nice. Quite right, multiple different flavours. Um, actually not bad, but we, we like peri peri and the barbecue. Barbecue is first. Yeah. Any other flavours you'll have it like. Would yeah. you recommend people to get these? So if you like if you like beef jerky, it's not as soft. So uh bill tongue's not quite as soft as uh, um, jerky because it is done slightly differently. I think it's it kind of tastes a little bit tougher, but uh and it's a South African recipe and a South African way of doing it as opposed to an American way. But hey look, if you like dried meats then absolutely. Would you recommend buying them from Amazon? Uh, well, if you're in the States, right, you get this kind of stuff all the time in every single supermarket. In the UK, we don't really have it too much in the supermarkets. No, um, and I was going to say, do you remember we went to Kissimmee and we went to um, Old Town Kissimmee? Oh, they had a and there's a massive shop. Teriyaki sh uh, a massive uh, shop. jerky shop. Yeah, yeah it was, you it's know really where cool. um, the it's rides an old town. are? Old yeah, Town. It's, an old town. It's, it's a shop in there and you can just go in, you can buy it by the kilo, maybe. I can't yeah. remember. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's really good. It's always busy. We've been down there a couple of times and it's always been busy as well. Right, so this is very traditional. So a ginger smell. I think I should stop smelling because the smell puts me off. Yeah. Oh, no, come back. It smells like bovril. Marmite. That's bovril, marmite. Marmite. Well. Is this just going to taste of meat? Yeah, pretty much. It's a bit subtler than the, than the original, mm. traditional version of that one. Well, this stuff's not mass produced. This stuff this is. This is actually quite nice. Mm. Softer. It tastes of bovril. My might. I'm not old enough to remember bovril. Hmm. It's okay. It's it's not really got a taste to it. It's got a texture. It just it doesn't taste of meat. It's a bit savoury. Hmm. It it's a bit savoury. Um, but the stuff. I mean, it's actually. It's actually. It doesn't look too flaky. Yeah, it doesn't look too different. Shaving of meat. Yeah, exactly. So right. why did we, what's the difference between this one and those then? So this one's more traditional. This one's kind of quite mildly mashed produced. I suppose it's the uh, same as uh, some of the jerky brands that you get. Um, so yeah, hey, look. I, nice yeah. though. So what would you traditionally have jerky with? You just eat it, you wouldn't Beer, dip it. Crisps. Oh, okay. Or chips, sorry. If, if you guys out there and you have jerky as your snack, Leave us some comments below. Well, we what used to, you we have, we, we, we get, uh, quite often get jerky to go around the park, so, don't we? You do so. in America. I don't mm. eat it. I'm not. I'll stick to my Skittles. Or, no, big rolls. <laughs> big rolls. Oh mm. my God, revolutionary. We eat those loads of here as well. Have a couple of big rolls while you're waiting for those rides. Have these magical adventures when we're in our five hour queue. A couple of big rolls and a, and a venti. Um, where we had no, the Trenti. Trenta. Trenta. Um, pink drink. Trenta pink drink. Uh, okay, so Check this. Check my Instagram out, there's a picture on there. So this one's slightly different. So this is cured beef sausage with a hint of coriander and cracked black pepper. Ooh. So it's, it's different. Really, uh, posh. There it Sounds like something I'd get from Harrods. So it's it's different, see? So it's dry. It's basically a cut dried sausage. Oh, yeah. I don't know who's doing that. like a pepperoni. Yeah, pepperoni. Oh, it's a bit of an animal. Oh, I don't think you're going to like that. I don't really taste anything. Because you said that, you put me off taking a bit. Let me take a bit, a bit, a bit. A bit, a bit, a bit. It's quite greasy. Oh, it does taste like you're eating pepperoni. It's quite greasy. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't like that. It's quite. It's very peppery. It's quite greasy though, right? Actually, I don't like that. When would you eat that? No. Mm -hmm. Don't know what we're going to do with all of these now that we've been eating <laughs> them. We've opened them. Mm. Well, that was probably the least then. That was the least nicest. Um, and the this one and this one was probably our favourites. What about that one? And then these are somewhere in between. These other ones are somewhere in between. Mm. Yeah, so give us a little your hints and tips down below. If you eat beef jerky, if you want us to package these up and send them to you, because <laughs> we're not going to eat them, yeah. let us know. But I hope you enjoyed the video. 
thanks for watching hit subscribe like and that notification bell and we'll be back very soon with another video ladies